Alright people, welcome back to some more Vine and Why. So I tweaked the deck for Ubuxies just a little bit. Uh, I pretty much decided that I really don't like Level Eater. I know, I might disappoint some of you, but you know, I was just sitting there like, when do I really ever use Level Eater, you know? I, I used it because I needed that um, that additional level change for, um, for uh, yeah, Message in a Bottle. But uh, as of late, I really haven't been using it, I must say. Uh, you know, the missing level that I, you know, can easily get access to that I, you know, often missing in the deck is filled in with Harris, you know, and Her and Eris, I call it Harris, Eris, can, uh, easily just go ahead and just go summon, send her to the graveyard, and then go ahead and give me a plus while level eater, you know, especially since I cannot special summon, uh, you know, you can only special summon any monsters except for Xe monsters, then you can activate this, so if I activate this, I can't even go level eat or eat a level off and, you know, manipulate the levels, you know. I think the reason why I was really running it is because I wanted to run, um, uh, what's the name of that card? What's the name of that card? Uh, Heart of the Dragon, but it's not necessary. I would say, you gonna go? Okay, so, can't destroy the Nordic monster, try battle. Okay. The Nordic Lights. Uh, what else did I change? I put some MSTs in here because, you know, one of the major flaws of this deck and the reason why I get shut down is because back row. So, I'm gonna run some MSTs in here. That is the worst draw. That is the worst draw. Never draw you bell. Alright, people. I just wanted to go ahead and, uh, and tell you that. That you should never draw you bell because drawing you bell is, like, the worst thing you could ever possibly do. Alright. Some more again, night. But I'm gonna drop Harris. Harris is gonna give me uh, Nefarious Archie and Nefariousness. Uh, not only do I get Nefarious Archie and Nefariousness in my hand, but Masculine can go ahead and summon Aeris and I can make a blocker as a wipe his field, so. But I was thinking about dropping you though, but now, you know, change your plans. That's why I, that's why I hate drawing you bell, it's because it makes you play differently. You know? You drop you bell, first form to the graveyard, you know. All your, you know, all your chainable cards, all your, like, your card hunters and, and, you know, limited verses and shit, they all become chainable, you know, you pretty much makes it so your opponent never wants to MST you. Now, you know, I don't even want to really set the Oasis right now. It's just like, okay. Nor do I really feel like attacking either. The Nordic monsters can't be destroyed by battle, and that's a Nordic monster, and what's the point of attacking? Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can do basic math. Looks like he's trying to get aggressive with it. I guess I'll just go ahead and push for the blockers. So now I got to two different levels. Just I drew you bell, which is the worst. You know, never draw you bell. Uh, yeah. All right, fuck it. I'll push for Eris. Eris is like so good. Like I'm so glad that she's now in the deck because she she helps out a lot. God, I wish I would have sent you Bell. My plays would have been a lot more robust right now if you Bell wasn't in my hand. Alright, I'm guessing it's fine because it's in here. I'm not saying anything. Okay. So, I'm guessing he's training that on, uh, summon. But now, really, do I even need to go into Black Rose? That's, that's, that's the question. Is it really worth it?
Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm still gonna black res you, so she will she'll be pretty much useless. I'll go ahead and do that, because clearly you have two Nordic, you pretty much revealed, you know, everything. Because you wouldn't even be grabbing her if you didn't have the two Nordics, and... Okay. Go ahead. Interesting, interesting. Because why would you grab her? Because you had to banish two Nordics from your hand, so I'm guessing that these two cards in your hand are Nordics, right? Interesting if I can, you know, prepare myself for her. Uh, is there anybody else that I need to drop to the graveyard? Really, I just need to get Ebel out of my fucking hand. That's definitely a must right now. <coughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and space you. Uh, then I can go ahead and activate a waste of summon arm again. Night. You probably just get prepared for uh. What's this do? Oh, okay. That's not even that good. <sighs> I said, I'm thinking about probably just preparing myself for his Nordic summon. Alright. Oh, I could have sent Dragon. I forgot I, I, I forgot I put Dragon in here. I really did. I totally forgot that I put Dragon in, in this deck. Well, fuck. I fucked up. I could just send Dragon to save my MST. Yes, yeah, it's, it's fine. Draw tear? Okay. God. I would give anything right now to not have you bell in my fucking hand. Like I would I would love to get a dark graph right now. My deck isn't even half as well. Okay. I was thinking maybe it was her and maybe you were just bluffing. <laughs> you know, I, I would give. My 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 deck is not even half as potent as it could be if Yvel is in my hand. Like Yvel in the grave right now would be so good. I, I could have, you know, a much better cornucopia. A place, but right now there is not much I can fucking do. Really, there's no point in you even sending this call to hunt it because even if he MSTs it, well, I'm a sudden anyway. Just if I can use it for level manipulation. I don't know. God, I hate drawing you bell. It's the worst. It's the worst. <laughs> I can go for a fucking door right now if he bells in the gear. I can go mask man, summon you bell, go to screen's light, book 10, bam, Dora. Nope. Nope. Unless I get fucking Dark Greffer, or I literally, I'm thinking about just not playing anything and just drawing. Like, not gonna play anything. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I have the life plants, I'm just gonna stall out till I just draw my seventh card, then during the end phase, just pitch you bell. If I don't get Dark Greffer in this upcoming hand, because. Drawing your bell is just like straight up worse. And I get it, it's at one, so the number generator is like, here you go, but I would rather take a terror ultimate nightmare over trying your bell first one. You can see like the potential of my play. This message in a bottle can't be really used until your bell is in the graveyard. Like I can't do what I want to do until your bell is in the graveyard. Banish one astronaut and then talk to one card and film destroy it also. Okay. I do return the monster you banish. That's fine. So, his next end phase, because this one will be the first, the next one. Uh, 
Nope. Not gonna do anything. Just pitch you bell. There, you bell's in the graveyard. Never got a dark greffer, but hey, that, at least I got that fine. At least I handled that situation, okay. Now I can do some good you bell exceed plays. Uh, that's second. Uh, the last and phase was the first, right? So this is second. Because you activated that in what, your main phase? No. Okay, I can say. If you don't get it, I'll get it for you. Draw. Alright, well, we can have butt tons of fun now. We can have a lot of butt fun. Let me go ahead and summon Max Trillion. Fact. It's not my job to tell you, it's just game mechanics. If it was optional, I wouldn't tell you shit. Look, ten. I'm not that nice of a guy. <laughs> it's just some place can't be done in a duel unless some things happen. Dora. Like, yeah, I'm not. I'm not that nice of a person. I have fucking Dora on my field. Like, I could activate this call the haunted and then the game. Oh wait, no, he's gonna get his tokens. That's fine. See, see, look how, look at, look how, look how good and robust my plays are. I can go for another door next turn. I can literally just go, all right, door, detach the U bell. Actually, if I don't like death, I might just do that just to get fucking U bell in the grave back in the graveyard. I can go detach door, mass million, summon back U bell, gas the queen's light, both ten, bam, another door. What's 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 more difficult than one door, two door? Because yeah. With uh, me being able to take out like the Heart Earth Dragon and what else? I took out the that uh, Enterprise card out too because I can't go into nines without low eater. I just threw another Doran, and I threw in the uh, Hot Bread as uh, the one sink eight I have. Oh, there's Dark Greffer. It's too late now, motherfucker. Too late now. Uh, fact on self. Nope, you're not saying anything. Mm. You, back. Summon you. Activate this. Both ten. I'm just toying with you now. I'm just toying with you. I could literally go into fucking Gustav Max and go bam, and then next turn, if you don't do anything, go bam again, but I'm having fun. I got two doors in the field. One of the powerful plays of Ubelic Seas, so at this point, it might be best just to go ahead and scop it up. Two doors on the field. Either this is game or we're gonna start a multi chain that I have never seen before, alright. I was about to say, are we gonna start a super multi chain? It seems like his deck was really beast reliant. A lot of trap cards are like, hey, you know, play this on a beast, or activate this on a beast, beast, beast. And it's just like, you know, it's a Nordic deck, not a beast deck. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get another duel, and we'll make this video a little bit longer, because yesterday's was kind of short. Plus, I still want to see if my tweaks and alterations are okay. So, uh... One of the reasons why I changed to, um, I really don't want him to just blank space my space. I don't really like that. Uh, one of the alter, one of the reasons why I made an alteration to change uh, Phantom of Chaos to um, uh, Shadow Dragon is because uh, that attack's not as important with Debris Dragon because I have uh, Galaxy Wizard, so. Game is not that good. Definitely not that good. 
go ahead and get that uh got past him. Yeah, he's up here. Ferris Arsene and Ferrisness. Once again, some that you bell and we're ready to go. Darn on again night would be great. No. Alright. And you know what? I'll go ahead and change it better. See? I knew he was just gonna space my space. Didn't even matter. See, this that's the reason why I didn't set my space. Because I know if I just set one card, he's going to go MST. And it's just going to be on my MST. Back up down. And... They're all good cards, though. I must say. I'm going to slow the rush right now. Right now. He pitched a trade in. Alright. Thought he was going to send like a red ice. Sacred Sword. Oh, I guess he didn't want to send the red eyes. Another red eyes. Wyvern. There's nothing in the graveyard. Alright. Come me and hit me directly. Hello? Hi. Tell me to go to bed. Did I? <laughs> it's past your bedtime. I'm a grown man. I'm bed right now. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Are you over 21? Uh, grown is 18. Huh? Grown is 18. Oh, really? Yep. Who told you that? That's what I believe. Some 18 year old? Damn. Hello? <laughs> You know I'm recording, right? You're making all of that noise. Oh, I'm so, you know what? I forgot. <laughs> I didn't even think. I'm so sorry. All that noise. I just saw the water. I was like, oh, shit. Let's get rid of this while I'm here. You got something to drink over there? Oh, an interesting, uh, yeah, I have something to drink. Why? Because I need something. So, I don't have you bell in the graveyard, but I do have... Possibly an interesting play next turn, though. I can go activate message in the bottle, summon back back rows, summon back one of these two, and summon back Eris. Activate Gas of Queen's Light, they all become seven, and then go into a Draco Sack. Draco Sack? Yeah, that seems fine. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah, because I win Black Rose, that, that's another... Oh, well, see? That combo was pretty good. Just sucks that I never got like an Armageddon Knight or something. It's not like I run Triple Armageddon Knight, Triple Foolish. I think I'm only running two Dark Ruffers just because there's not as many Darks in this deck as... in the past. Summon you. I don't know. I mean, it really doesn't matter between you two. Because your effects are negating, you're not doing anything anyway. Why? Because I'm trying to light up. Oh my god. You need to leave me alone. What? I I'm to... sitting here trying to record and you're doing everything. You couldn't wait till I'm done recording? No, I'm going up the steps. Uh... Turn the light back on. I am, see? I turned that one on my way up the steps. God, such a pain. Would you just call me? You heard me. This woman. This woman right here. This woman right here. Damn, this man wants to get that mirror force. I mean, I get it. Mirror force is going back up in popularity, but they hit. Can I give me a mirror force again? Like, oh shit. Dude. <laughs> I'll, just I'll just destroy all the mirror forces. Debris dragon. Oh, debris dragon is not that useful right now. Nope. I mean, the best that the breeze dragon. Nope. The best I can do is summon the breeze dragon. No effect. XC into. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Ebel XC is like XC. 
go ahead and go to my good old friend you back to catch you go ahead and get me you again no it's you about C's but I, I haven't seen you battle all fucking duel poke poke alright in case two is there anything that I want to do? No. Alright, go ahead. Oh, alright. Ancient rules. Bam, there's our red eyes. The thing is, the red eyes support isn't on here yet. New red eyes support, so, you know, what he's doing right now. Mm, nothing new. Smart. You should have definitely took it out because I could have got me another mass chameleon. You never want to let me allow me to get another mass chameleon. Hey, I'm again, knight. So you can train it? You can train it if you want. Oh, okay. So you can train it if you want. You can train it if you want to. Yeah, you could've you could you could chain this silver card. Summon your red eyes. I can't attack this. Do you have another eyes? No, you don't. I thought you did. Never mind. Never mind. Guess you were hoping that it's gonna kill your red eyes and you're just gonna summon it right back with Silver's Cry? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, so I could have summoned and sent you bell. And then I could have activated Oasis, summon you bell. Activate Galaxy Queen's Light, all 10, overlay into Adora. Adora killed the red eyes. And I have Adora in the Draco sack. Alright. So, there we go. Plays weren't terrible. They are fine, actually. So, I'm going to go ahead and call it up. So, so uh,. Fun fact, I'll go ahead and end this video with fun fact. I am planning on making a, uh, maybe like a U-Bell Red Eyes deck. Just because, you know, a lot of them have to do with normal monsters. So, really all I have to do is, do is throw Doom Shaman in the deck. You know, that trap card though. It's like, you can like summon a normal monster. Like, okay, like, really if I read that, I feel like summon Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman, summon Sync. You know, so... Maybe. I would consider it, but, uh, waiting for the new Red Eye support to get here on, D on DM. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it so. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm and Why. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Cosmic Q-Bell. Alright, people, thanks for watching.